Yeah, I know, I probably should have went back to the boss area instead, but I found a little glitch here. Yeah, I'm pushing towards the fence, so instead of falling, it won't let me go over it, I gotta let it push me back and fall backwards behind it. I didn't know you could do that. I think that might be one of the few places you can do it. Oh well. Of course, now I gotta get all the way back to the cave and run through it again. I did max out the lightning sword, so hopefully things will go more in fair favor this time. Well, if I want to max out the rest of my swords, I'm going to need like another 110,000 ammo. No, 220,000 for both of them. Doing the charge more often. Forget the small fry. Oh, well, the ammo's right there. Better pick it up. Well, the best way to get ammo is basically to kill the bats in here. Well, it's still time consuming. I think there's somewhere to get rid of the tablets in here or something, maybe. I have to go look it up. Because I have all three of them. I really don't want to look for an optional boss battle right now. Plus, these Ks are confusing anyway. Yeah, I think I might be able to give that boss a real beating now with this sword. I didn't realize how broken this sword was, max level. Well, I've used it before, but usually I wait until like, the very end of the game to pick it up. Yeah, experience in this game seems to cap off based on level, so we'll never be able to 
get to the next level eventually without killing a ridiculous amount of enemies. That's the way to... Not where I want to go. No, oh, forget, I don't want to deal with those. Their true forms are even harder to deal with than these ones are. So forget it. Probably should have brought... No, I forget, it ain't worth trying to figure out how to get that. I deal with this again. Damn it. I was sure it came this way. Huh. Looks like it must have escaped toward the back. Damn! Why the hell do you make these evil. stupid pests anyway? Huh, you again. You're pretty damn good to make it through a hellhole like this. You'd better listen up good now, though. No matter how good you are, we don't need any outsiders meddling in our business. Keep your nose out of it. Or else, or else what? Maybe I have to kick the crap out of you this time? Curious. Yeah, I know. Curiosity killed the cat. Curious what's on that off tunnel path.
I don't think I'll be able to reach that. There's too many jumps around here that require the super jump, and I'm never gotten it down. You gotta have like perfect timing. So I've never been able to reliably do it. lead. Not just for a stinking herb. Where's the other side lead?
seriously? Goes around in a circle. out of here. Let's get out of here. Finish this finally. <laughs> oh, there would have been something more interesting back there, but I guess not. Try to stay alive, thank you. It sucks. Lightning sword is pretty broken, yeah. If it wasn't for catching in that beam after the first attack, I would have been golden. Just 
Just buzz off before I kill you. Lord knows everyone wants to. At least any sane person would want to. And bam. <laughs> Might have been heavy, but that'll teach that boulder to mess with me. Let me see. If I'm thinking right, I'm gonna be able to get out this way. Huh? Uh huh? At all? Is that you? What? Is this for real? I ain't dreaming or nothing, am I? Is that really you at all? You ain't some monster disguising yourself as him, are ya? <laughs> Man, you gotta be the adult I know. I was figuring something like that wouldn't be the end of ya. Man, I can't believe you ended up surviving being sucked in by the Great Vortex. Come on, now that we found ya, we got no reason to be hanging around here. As soon as we head out of this cave, you'll be seeing the Tremar. The Great Vortex went and ripped it up pretty good, but them pirates are all A-OK. -okay. Man, those guys are always cheating to death. Tara's been feeling pretty down, you know. You gotta hurry and see her, so she'll know you're doing fine. ship. You saved me, but at all. Hey, Tara! What are you doing here? Oh. Hey, Dogie. I'm fixing up the boat. So, you get anything done over there? Yeah, I found the cave, but I'm thinking it ain't the escape route we were looking for. I found something even better than that, though. Hell of a find, in fact. A hell of a find? Huh? Hey, you gonna move or what? It's Adol. You know, Adol. He wound up coming ashore here before us. <laughs> Just like I thought. This guy ain't going down without a fight. You idiot! You idiot! You moron! You sickeningly sweet bastard! There's no point trying to save someone if you're just gonna fall in yourself, you know? I... I was... worried to death You know, if I Adol. didn't have to listen to her voice right now, I probably would've wished she was dead. Ugh. <sighs> and I was wondering what all this commotion was about. Hey, Captain Ladoc! You brought us quite the unexpected guest, Dogie. So what's all this commotion about? Ain't nothing to explain, Captain. It's really him! Huh. Talk about being laid back. Off on your own little adventure while we were escaping by the skin of our teeth against the Roman fleet. <laughs> That's just what you'd expect from Adol the Red, though. I think I understand the general geography of the Kanan Islands from your description now. I'm surprised to hear of the Retta, but it's an even bigger shock to find that there's a human town there. Can't believe old man Rabba's wound up here either. That's one tough old guy. Nothing's changed since the Tower of Darm. So, Captain Ladakh, looks like we'll be finding a way out of here after all. Oh, definitely. At all. After you fell into the sea, we were chased into the Great Vortex ourselves by the Roman fleet. 
Luckily, we managed to ride the current and finally reached the center of the vortex. That was really hard! There were huge waves all around us for three days and nights! I ain't even a crew member, but they ran me ragged! Well, the good news was that we were past the Great Vortex. The bad news is that all that pounding took its toll. The mast and the rudder were wrecked, so we drifted here. That was about three days ago. It's not easy finding materials out here. But if there's a town on the island, there just might be some hope. Let's get a small boat ready right away. All right. Let's get to it. Ado, you're coming too. I want you to introduce us to the Altago merchant who runs the town. I need to negotiate for materials. Hell, I'm coming too! I know someone in town, so it wouldn't be right to stop by and not say hi. All right, let's go. <sighs> Whatever. Um... Uh... Nah, it's nothing. Come on, to the boat! We'll leave it's with fine. Us, you know. I fought my way through the cave to get here. Well, I'll be damned. Never thought I'd see you again after a fall like that. You're one of us, though. And we won't go without a fight, you know. <laughs> hey, you even still got all your limbs. Yep, look like old Adol to me. <laughs> Pretty smooth, falling into the deep, protecting a girl. Nice going, son. There's a black person in this game? Don't remember that. Is there anything on this boat I can steal? Oh my. Hmm. Quite interesting. Given where you fell, the current of the great vortex, its speed, and the time you spent drifting, Terra asked me to run some calculations. Your probability of survival was extremely low, you know. If possible, could you tell me the details of how you survived sometime? I just did. Don't ask me for details. Pirates Firewater. Oh ho! Adam, you got to admit, it's surprising you didn't die out there. Gotta say, maybe we did, but you threw hell by bringing you on board to begin with. What can I do with this stuff anyway? Oh, it's alcohol. Yay. Is there anything down here? Probably won't let me go back through the cave, will it? Can. Come on, to the boat. We'll leave without you, you know. Come on, to the we'll leave. So, we're headed for the town of Remorge on the eastern coast. You ready at all? Unlike offshore, where the Great Vortex is, we should be able to move around the inner sea. The currents seem rougher than I thought, though. Be careful not to fall off. Aye, aye, sir. You got it.
Indeed. Well, I understand your situation. In other words, we just need to acquire the materials to repair your ship, right? We'd like food and water as well. In exchange, we'll take anyone who wants to come on board. We could even transport the MLS goods that you've been amassing. I don't think it's a bad deal. True. It'd be helpful to finally have access to a real ship. Lloyd, get things ready right away. With pleasure, sir. So it's a deal then? How long will we need to wait? Fortunately, I've got a stockpile. I'm sure we'll have everything ready for you soon, so go kick back at the tavern for a while. Thanks for introducing us. We'll be able to repair the ship no problem now. But as long as the Great Vortex is surrounding this place, escaping will be close to impossible. There's got to be a way, though. I haven't been on land in a long while. I think I'll go have a drink. Drop by if you feel like it. Oh, see, I should probably just save. Hopefully, leaving the time won't trigger an event. Yeah, I'm gonna save now, and then probably go do more grinding if I can find the time this weekend. So yeah, that's this part, and we got the boss. We paid him back good for what he did last time. Till next week. See ya.